Are you guys familiar with the work of Martin Sweat? Yeah. No. He was on Ancient Apocalypse season one for a minute. He's the guy who made basically a star map of go, that Pillar 43. And in his opinion, those three handbags at the top were three sunrises. Mm. And if that's the case, that would almost make sense because then the, like a picture of an Assyrian holding that would be like a holding of astronomical knowledge. Like this, this mm. symbol could have been a symbol of knowledge of... Astronomy, right. which is one thing, honestly, about go back. Could have been Debbie a book to, bag. Yeah, <laughs> could have been a book, right? Bag. I mean, it kind of makes sense. They it, probably yeah. had a travel around with their books. Dr. Martin Sweatman, uh, his first paper on Gobekli Tepe's Pillar 43, he's got Scorpio on the bottom. He believes that's Sagittarius, that that's the sun. Mm. Basically, it's a star map denoting the time that the comet smacked the Earth, is, is what he believes. <sighs> each one of those V symbols is a day, Each one, of, in his opinion. Each one of those boxes is a month. And there is a, basically a, a full year denoting the whole thing, the way he's broken. That's very interesting stuff. And one of the things that's wild to me when we talk about like the the lack of further excavations is almost every pillar we bring up has new new symbology new symbols new iconography if we're trying to find some old sort of ancient proto language or something we're going we need more symbols we need more things on earth sure yeah and that's completely opposed by the mainstream archaeology the idea that these guys had any sort of written language is fucking ridiculous